Welcome to the Bindling! This, today, will be Long Live the Queen. This will be starting off, haven't played this yet. Just at the title screen, basically all I know about this game is it's a strategy game where you try and avoid dying. So should be fun. This will sort of be the official launch. Uh, I had a preliminary week, went pretty well, and then I had some... Weeks that didn't go so well. Illness, tactical issues. Now we're rolling again. And let's get started with the start game. I love the title music, though. Got some uh, classical piano. Jocelyn King Dewager, Duke of Caloris. Jocelyn, not normally a guy's name, but hey, we'll roll with it. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. <laughs> not not so enthused is Elodie, crown princess. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday. But I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. <laughs> this is not what mother would have wanted. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, uh, I have to keep going with it, but I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna apologize for how bad this will be. She would have wanted me to die. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. Nova, on you. I'll be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Now do not ask what accent that is supposed to be. Doesn't matter. Come, your maids are waiting. Okay, I have not played this before. Let's tell me more. Okay, we'll be controlling Elodie, the almost queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare her for her coronation to do that. She needs to take e classes every week in order to raise her skills. All right, so we got skills we need to bump up. So presumably classic RPG skills of like negotiation, charm. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. Also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. Ooh, there's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details. Okay. So... We're playing a preteen whose mother just died. Mood should be stable. Well then. <laughs> well, this ch this chart kind of accurately reflects my 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 own mood. I'm glad we have so much. So much in common. Elodie is feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Got it. I can read a chart. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus. That's true. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skills screen now. Skills are broken into four main categories. Oh, this is simple. Social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. I want to see what the mystical skills are. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of the three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Fantastic, we have no talent whatsoever. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points in a skill for every weekday that she studies. So if she studies history, she will earn two points times five days equals ten points. All right. So we probably want to mix that up, unless we want to be like a savant, we're genius in one thing and a complete moron at everything else. Because LED is depressed, he has minus two penalty to the social skill set conversation. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation, she will earn two minus two points per day. That is zero points. 
Well, that would be productive now, wouldn't it? That feels like how- that's how productive university is. <laughs> Gain nothing. However, she has a plus one bonus to the expression skill set. If she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points per day. Which means three points per day, 15 points for the week. So presumably, we just want to- we just want to learn the bonus one pretty much every time. Because we got- we got plus one to expression right now, so that's what we want to- that's what we want to learn, I expect. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than normal. Well, that's kind of obvious. All of these bonuses and penalties will change when all of these mood changes. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skill screen every week to see your current bonuses! Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses, and penalties, you are ready to choose your classes of the week. Classes screen! <laughs> Breaks down. I, I, I'm starting to get the feeling that I've gotten way in over my head for what I was intending to get into here. The classes break screen breaks down skill sets by category for your morning and evening classes. When you select a skill set, the three options in that set will appear on the right side of the screen. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes, then click Done, uh, which will appear in the lower right corner. All right. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These tell you what is happening behind the scenes. Did they mention outfit? Plus one cheerful, plus one depressed. Uh, those are kind of contradictory. Test history failed. Uh-oh. Bubbles like these will show you the story is changing based on what skills Elodie has learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points in that skill yet. This feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try, but if you don't want to see it, you can turn the bubbles off in the preferences menu. All right, now get ready to become a queen. Excellent. All right, classes. So we want expression, no doubt. Uh, can we drag it? No. Uh, my. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, right click. Right click save game. No, go back. Oh, oh, I see. It changes these three. Okay. Decoration, drawing, painting, arranging, dressing, instruments, go with music and voice, singing. All right. And then. Well, she's depressed, so she probably doesn't want to sing right now. So, probably instrument would be best one out of these three right now. That's the way I'm going. Let's be completely pragmatic and completely ignore that we're playing a game. Alright, now down here, there's no bonuses on any of these, I don't think. Well, actually, I, I just said expression had a bonus. I want to see if I can, like, verify somewhere that that is, in fact, the bonus. Uh, it told me I could see it, but I'm not sure where. Okay... Uh, save the mood. Ah, here we go. Huh. Uh, there's a scroll wheel. Kind of does something. Expression, there's the plus one. Okay. Animal handling also has plus one. That that would actually be very good for depression. Dogs help. You know, pets, anything that you can pet can cheer people up. Works actually quite well. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So we're going to go with animal handling and instrument. And... Oh! Oh, I can do expression in the evening as well, but we'll go animal handling. Training and hunting, riding and grooming. Alright, so you got instrument and dog, seems like a good thing. Done, those are classes for the day. Alright, increase by 15 on instrument. And then should be 15 for uh, animal handling. You visit the kennel and learn about different breeds of dogs. Ah, uh, uh, you tap out chiming dyads on the glockenspiel. 
Learning the basics of harmony and rhythm. All right. So scroll wheel gets lets you go back steps, which is nice because I completely missed the glockenspiel. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. All right. Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. <laughs> Thank you? I'm not sh That's kind of a... Roll with it. You look very well, niece. Hi, Lodi! Hi, Lodi. Haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep! Mommy said we'd be here all month! Plus one cheerful. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Let's find out. Attend service minus one. I thought that said plus one to pressed for a second. <laughs> Playing with toys plus one lonely. <laughs> This is so sad! Okay, walk in the gardens, plus one lonely. Uh, talk to your father, question mark. Attend court, plus one depressed. Plus one pressured. Explore castle, plus one lonely, plus one afraid. Visit dungeon, no effect. Oh man, these are terrible options. It's like, explore castle, get lonely and afraid. Visit tomb, depressed and afraid. Alright. She seemed happy to see see these these people, so maybe we can hang out. I love this room! It's so much bigger than mine back home! You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me! She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe! I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. At least we can have fun together here. Alright, mood. Well, that, that certainly picked up. Look at that. Pretty much evened out. That's a good weekend. Alright. Man, those options. Alright, so we're gonna check out here uh, what's got bonuses. Expression has a tiny bonus, animal handling has a tiny bonus, but physical, oh yeah, we got, uh, what the plus point? Okay, well, it says plus one for agility, so we'll go in for that. Mystical, meditation, divination, lore. Alright. So, those are our good options, so, agility, dance, reflexes, and flexibility. Okay, let's keep trying to pick up the mood with dance, and then, I don't know, yeah, yeah. Don't need to make it more tense right now, I don't think. And then for the other one, we had... I think it was this, right? It was, uh, yeah, mystical. So, lore, maybe? Oops, classes. Hey. I thought... <laughs> okay, divination is not looking for wa water. All right. Uh, meditation, lore... Well, meditation also good for depression, dance. Okay. Working entirely on cheering up right now. Let's stick to that. Seems reasonable. Let's go. Bonus afraid. Well, that's unfortunate. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. You practice assuming a sitting position that allows you to be relaxed and tranquil without being so relaxed that you are likely to fall asleep. Alright. Bam! What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? 
Ah, too many women. I don't have this many voices. I've come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have to respect or you have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a lumen, as was she. And like every lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the crown princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me and I have much to teach you. Arrest her. <laughs> oh man, that... <laughs> this is little girl. This is... Arrest her! Okay, so... This is a very complicated one. Because we don't have evidence that she is actually doing anything wrong. But... Letting her stay doesn't seem like a reasonable option if you want to maintain proper relationship with your dad. Don't really want to send her away, but let's get rid of her. As you wish, I will return to my duchy if you call for me. <laughs> she won't. <laughs> oh, what a dick. Okay. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Alright, so we already visited them. Don't need to do that one. Don't really want to do anything like that. Ah... Sneak out. Ooh. Is plus two willful. Don't really want to make ourselves more lonely right now, but there's really no way not to. Like, you could visit them again, but I don't want to do that. Attending court will make me more depressed. Talk to your father is a toss up, and there's not really any reason to do that. Don't really want to just look around. So, you know what? Let's, let's, let's sneak out. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Hopefully we don't die right here. Alright. We're good. We're good. Alright, so what do we have for today? Ooh, animal handi handling has a big bonus. So does expression once again. So we're going to be going in for these as well. I think. So, classes. Alright. How's our mood doing? Now we're a little lonely, but... And we're still a bit depressed, but we're more willful. Still a little bit... Eh, I guess that's... Uh, if it wasn't the best idea. Alright, let's, let's try voice. And then... Horses. Oh no. Bonus depressed. You practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. All right. Oh man, bonus depressed. I guess that's the minus two thing. Um, you walk around the stables meeting the royal horses, learning about their breeds and the names for different parts of their anatomy. He loves me not! Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really! I just like to play with flowers! Me too! You gather your skirts and prepare to sit down when all of a sudden a hissing noise alerts you to a hidden danger. A snake! Charlotte, don't move! You grab for a stick and push the snake away. Reflex failed, damn it. <laughs> but you lack the you lack the skills to do the job properly and poking the snake only makes it angry too fast to see it lunges forward sinks its fangs into your leg we better not die here because i didn't research reflexes ow snake says his way but it's too late now a strange tingling sensation begins to spread through your flesh that's milk viper 
you're poisonous! I don't feel good. Your leg is going numb. You stumble and fall to the ground. Hold on! Your cousin kneels beside you and presses her hand over the bite. Mark, the area throbs painfully, then begins to feel warm. After a minute, you're dizzy, but your leg isn't buzzing anymore, and even the wound has disappeared. How did you do that? I don't know how I do it! I just can! I'm not supposed to tell anybody! People think it's freaky! You won't tell, will you? Of course not! I'm just lucky you were here! Girls! What's going on out here? I hear yelling! Nothing! We saw a snake by Galway. A snake? That's it? Shut up, pack your things! We're going back to Merva! It's not safe here! Oh, bl <laughs> Oh, bloody hell! Because we weren't- we didn't have the reflexes, we failed, and now they're leaving. Well, that sucks. Ah! <laughs> we don't have- uh... Well, that's annoying. Alright, well, that, that was just a toss-up, like... Now we don't have any way of... N not being lonely. Plus one willful, plus one angry. This be a very angry, angry queen. Alright, let's roll the dice. Dad, what really happened, Mom? She was a lumen. A magic user. It was meant to be in reserve to defend our domain, but she insisted on... You don't need to hear that. She used magic. It drained her strength. He thought it was harmless, and it wasn't. Eventually, her heart just stopped. That's why I don't want you involved with it. Alright. Skill time! Yeah! Physical, still a good plus. Animal handling, not so much. Mystical, still good. Alright. Okay, agility. Hmm. I kind of don't want to do reflexes now because we already failed the test. I also don't know if that's a hint. So let's throw it on there. Uh, I forget what the other one was. I forget what else we had bonuses in. Ah, stop that. Oh yeah, mystical. All right. Lore. All right. Lore increased. Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an attuned crystal. The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from parent to child upon the lumen's death. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. Reflex. Alright. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and, and Zara, and their parents gone. Certainly not empty, though. Seems like we get more servants every day. Alright. What will we do now? And these are not great options. <laughs> Alright. Play with toys. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. Still bonuses in physical and mystical.
I'll do one more round on these ones, and then we'll see about rotating them out for other things, I think. So, classes! Uh, da -da. Agility... Yeah, it is agility. Mystical, so, yeah, exactly the same. Just add more to dance here, and more to meditation. You close your eyes and relax? Okay, uh, that's the previous one. No, wait, I guess there's two of them? You close your eyes and relax every muscle of your body in turn, letting that feeling travel down th through you from your head to your fingertips and toes. You take slow, deep breaths. Letting that air move through your body, feeling it give you life and energy. And you practice walking on the arm of a partner and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping your eyes closed. You practice different partner dance positions closely held at a distance and non-contact and the appropriate hand placement for each. One of the maids approaches for your attention. Milady! Couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna! We have a Duke of Sedna? <laughs> no, my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Talas. They've brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of deeply regret. Best wishes. Oh, a beautiful necklace! Court manners failed, plus one cheerful. Something sparkly will make me feel better. Uh, we're failing so much, but it's just, there's no, I don't, so far I don't really see a whole lot of strategy here because it's just a toss up in terms of what we actually studied uh, versus what happened to roll in terms of what it wanted. Visit dungeons, no effect. That's 10 service, minus one afraid. You attend services in the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Still seems incredibly unhappy, which I suppose is reasonable since it's only been a few days since you, uh, yeah. I don't know what the uh, negative bonus is on Lonely, though. Conversation bonus. All right. And medicine bonus. Flattery, court manners, and public speaking. Public speaking! Gotta get that down. None of these manners and flattery crap. And then, what was the other one? Medicine, I believe. I'm just gonna verify 100%. I keep looking at the wrong thing. Medicine, indeed. Herbs, battlefield, and poison. Well, we got bit by a poisonous snake. I want poison. <laughs> let's, let's, we, we want that. You practice your tongue-twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. Enunciation. The first treatment for most ingested poisons is to purge the stomach by forcing the victim to eat powdered charcoal, which can absorb dangerous substances. I was totally expecting purge to be coming out the mouth, but apparently not. All right. So many people! Your Royal Highness, I would like to speak with you! What is it? 
Lore success, yes. There are questions you have not yet thought to ask. You know that the powers of a lumen should be yours. Why have you not sought your crystal? My father said I shouldn't get involved in magic. Oops. If you don't, who will defend your domain if the Krakens rise again? I have seen signs of the future. Danger is coming. I can teach you to control your powers. But first, you must seize your birthright and become a Lumen. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know these people. How can I make decisions based on trust and how much we... How much I trust their opinion and respect their opinion if I never met them before in the context of me playing it. I mean, it seems reasonable we'd probably want to be able to defend our kingdom, but I also don't want to, you know, do something that will just get me killed. And the fact that I have a decision says that I don't think I should immediately die just based on this. So I'm just gonna say no, you know what? No! No! My father said I shouldn't and I trust him. You're trying to corrupt me. That's not necessarily what I mean, but... You know, I got a toss-up, random person I never met, and father. Is, yeah. Your Highness! Leave me alone! All right. Oh, and our dad's like not even there, so we can't even talk to him. <laughs> Yielding, depressed, and pressured. I should really go there, huh? Guess we'll just remove another afraid. Medicine and conversation still. The one's getting a bonus. Herbs and then flattery. Done. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice, thing nice things about someone. Handy tip. You learn that willow bark can be used to relieve aches and fever. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down holding a towering pile of linen! Uh oh. Elegance failed, reflex is success. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. Alright. Eh, sort of succeeded. Now what do we do? So we've lost that option, lost that option, so we, we're gonna have to go through all of Ah, oh, man... Uh, they all give me loneliness except for the depressed, afraid tomb. Ah... Uh, Give, let's go to the depressed, afraid tomb. You pay your respects to your mother's tomb and wonder if the same fate is waiting for you. Well, our mood's not great. Alright, so we're not making any progress whatsoever. Still messing in conversation. Evenly spread them out. You review the correct greetings for guests according to the rank and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. 
There's a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters, which can be moved and reused. It's a printing press. How can we not invest in a printing press? With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. Production trade failed. I don't care. Oh no! <laughs> we didn't get to choose! No! The printing press! Ah! Ah! Oh man, that's terrible. Ah, oh, these options are awful. There, I can't, there's a net loss. There's just a net loss. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Walk in the garden. Fresh air helps you forget the burns on your shoulders. Are we just getting super lonely? I think we are. Yeah. Pressured is the opposite of lonely. Okay. Okay, I'll give a conversation, but I'll skip over medicine for the time being and go in for one of the plus zeros. Uh, accounting economics. You take deep breaths and practice l speaking loudly and clearly, projecting your voice to every corner of the room! You memorize lists and sonnets and then recite them for your teacher and any castle staff she can round up to serve as an audience. You brush up on basic mathematics with the help of an abacus. Alright. Good, good. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid, the Ixia Knight. Occupation of the country Im of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. <laughs> I was gonna... Uh, I decided between economics and military. I chose economics and I needed military. Now there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Mary. I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. Must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion to try to come up with some arrangement. Thank you, Your Highness. Plus one yielding. Your Highness, if I may ask, your necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then have you made arrangements with him? Court manner success. I think he's asking if I'm engaged to the Duke. I do. <laughs> Not at all. That wasn't the answer I chose, but that's fine because it is. Slightly different meaning. I just like jewelry and not at all. I appreciate presents, doesn't everyone? If you say so, your highness. Uh... 
Oh man, we're gonna be super yielding. I forget what the opposite of yielding is. Willful. It's hard to be willful. Man, we're just so lonely, you know, this way. Alright, let's attend court. Sitting on court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father and it may be important for your future. <laughs> this looks grumpy now. Skills. Weapons minus three. Royal demeanor. Yeah, we kind of need that. Composure, elegance... We already failed elegance and presence. An aura of confidence and command. Let's do composure. And then what else do we have bonuses for? We still have a bonus for conversation, expression. No magic, we're not looking for that right now. Ooh, intrigue. Oh, history, history. Novan history. You practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm. So between reflexes and composure and meditation, we're just the most Calm, composed person ever. This is how we're gonna lead. You read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the center of a great empire, spanning the length of the western coast as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence has waned. The representative of from Ixion is here. Be careful, no one wants to give up prizes that they have won. Your, you have your full support of my sister and myself, your highness. Hmm. Let's get this over with. Oh, what? I just studied this. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough. The Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I am sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Let bygones be bygones, no? We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. Foreign Affairs Bill. We can be good neighbors again without any lives being lost. We failed everything here. Okay, we can't kill him. And we can't surrender the province. Those are absolutely not a chance. Bluff is really dangerous because we have absolutely no military capability whatsoever. We're <laughs> ah, we should have focused on foreign affairs. This is not good. This is a really terrible situation. You are trespassing on our lands. You will withdraw all your troops at once, and only then will we have peace. Court manners success! Yes. Hmm, this necklace I wear, you must convince him that we are already allied with Duke Sedna in the domain of Talas. Oh, that. Ah, oh, that's. That's really. Let's go for it. As you can see. <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> so sadistic. As you can see, I already have allies. Do you really want to face both Nova and Talas? Perhaps not. Yes, I won! <laughs> yes! No skills whatsoever. Pull it out of her uh, pull it out of her ass. Alright. Okay, what do we need? Our mood is uh, very yielding. Pretty lonely. 
Pretty solid on the you know, on the mass scale of emotions. Not very angry though. You've got to get angry. Oh, wh what makes me angry? None of these make me. There's no way to get angry here. Hmm. Sneak out. Okay. I studied the history and it still failed. I'm so sad. All right, I'm going to study some more history and some more conversation. There we go. You learn that flattering compliment. <laughs> you learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it is always better to compliment people for their personality and their choices than their physical attributes. You study the relationship of Nova and its nearest neighbors. The borders have been most peace peaceful in recent years except for the problems with Ixion in the south. However, trouble may be brewing in Pyrrhus as well. I did have something show in the uh, chat saying that the screen's black, but I checked the uh, preview and everything looks all right. Uh, so. There are reports that a Keithong has been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a Keithong? Lore failed Novan history. Ah, I have history! Why do I need so much Novan history? Beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak and spikes on its back. Eek! Several disappearances in southern Caloris are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? <laughs> Whoops, that was a gruff little girl. What do we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy is to s on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures, you would only make it angry and waste more lives. We just let it eat people. Everyone dies. <laughs> oh, that's terrible! That's awful advice! <laughs> well, we just let it kill people? Well, everyone dies eventually. Plus one depressed. Well, no doubt. Also, there's a letter for you. Talaris, the Duke of Sedna, will be arriving next week for an official visit. What? <laughs> what kind of pep talk is that? I like how it says minus one afraid. Well, I guess it brings it back to even bar. Maybe it doesn't pump it up over the one because... Like, they phrase it minus one afraid instead of plus one angry. All right, let's just uh, balance this out again. So we need points. This history has been such a problem. We've only got so many classes in a day. Okay, well, we need more military. Definitely need more military. Logistics. 
and economics. Trade. Let's go with those. See, it seems to be about manipulating mood in order to get bonuses in the categories that you need, but we don't have very many options for manipulating mood, so it makes it tough at this point. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march, and how long they will remain edible. You learn that even the smallest of villages has a central market where the locals can trade what they have for, have grown or made for with others who have different skills. Alright. Ah, oh, your highness. What a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not you do, do you justice. You have silver tongue, your grace, or an eye for unfinished potential. Both admirable qualities. <laughs> ah, flattery has paid off. I'm so pleased to hear that you have accepted my humble offering, a jewel for a jewel. But you are the more precious. <laughs> oh, this is so cheesy. I hope this is only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. A union between us would bring a stability to both our peoples. He doesn't want to marry me! What? That doesn't... Uh, d was that w how that was interpreted? What are we saying is his offer? Are we saying the... Alliance between the two nations is his offer? Or are we saying that... Him proposing is his offer? Because that's something completely different. Okay, so, we saved, I'm gonna say accept, but if it's married, then Melody has only 14 summers, is my decision. Okay, that's all I wanted to see. So we're just gonna load this back up. Yeah, yeah, so no, we're, we're, we're not, we're not engaged. A actual alliance between the na the I'm not sure if his nation's territories would be good, but not this way. Oh no, court manners fail. <laughs> oh, that's not so good. It's the only reason why our domains are not already at war. What? You told the representative for mixing on that my dame domain was allied to yours. <laughs> he was quite <laughs> Ah, it backfired! It backfired. No, no, this is just like No. You're not gonna <laughs> No. I see. Well, we're making some things difficult on ourselves. We're not in a good position right now. Alright. What can we do this time? Well, we can do a bit of history. There's still a bonus there, and we need it. And probably some weapons, since we haven't gotten anything in that. Royal demeanor, we still don't have anything. Oh man, we had we had put points in court manners, and that still didn't pay off. Oh, this game's hard, man. Okay, so we're gonna put something in weapons, and then... ...some in world history. Pole arms. You look at a globe of the world reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever hearing about them, and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing there has ever returned. You learn about a variety of weapons from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd and glaive. 
You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder. Request the mercy of the crown. Your Highness! The slattern dares to be a pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? She looks so pleased. Corsan, the Duchess of Mead. She all right? She's unharmed. I'm not sure why that was a history fail. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's justice it is! Them devils killed me brother and broke me mom's heart! Lied to her they did! When she went to see why he'd not come back, said he'd gone for a soldier and when he never would! He weren't the only one neither! I waited ten years for my chance to get me own back. That's justice. Why did it change from me to my? I saw it saying me. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what this is all about either way. Murder is a serious crime, but... We don't kill people here. In prison. Yep, try, trying to kill people regardless of <laughs> regardless of I have a vendetta is not acceptable. Imprisonment. There we go. You'll not have me! She breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. Heavy golden ornament which you hurl in her direction. Arch- WHAT?! THAT IS NOT ARCHERY! THROWING A- That's closer to a pole arm than archery! Throwing something? Ah! Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Clean that up. <laughs> what? What? You pick up something heavy and throw it. Archery failed. Ah! Unacceptable! Hmm. Play with some toys. Alright. Skills this time around. Wow, conversation has a massive bonus. Okay, so... Uh, I can't, can't not get some court manners with the bonus up this high. Novan history keeps biting me in the ass, so let's get some more of that as well. As a person of highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission, and no one must ever turn their back on you. If they do, they are intended to recognize the insult. You study rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. You've unlocked a new outfit. Nova's history involves an endless slew of names and dates, even as small as it become. There are 10 dukedoms now. No, 11 now, plus the royal line. You hope no one expects you to memorize every lineage. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters it in its talons. I have no nothing in... Ta in uh, Oh, divination failed, falcons failed, nothing in falcons. Thought owls were nocturnal, guess I was wrong. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding for a project. 
Thank you for seeing me, Your Royal Highness. I, 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 come, I come on to you on to behalf of the people. I, I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Uh-oh. No herbs and battlefield men. Putting all the sick people together, wouldn't that make them die even faster? We're not interested. Oh, these are just brutal. And, uh, yeah. That's just... Walk in the garden. Alright, so that'll do it. This has been our debut episode here with Long Live the Queen. Should be continuing with this likely tomorrow. For now, this has been The Bindling. <laughs>